Somebody gave me a water spider. I'd never seen one alive before, so I kept it in this little vase for a couple of days to film it before releasing it again. It's also called the diving bell spider because they trap air between the many hairs on the abdomen and on the legs and then they bring the air down to a diving bell that they made. In that bell they do almost everything. Here you can see a small bell and he brings a little bit air in there. You can also see some food, Daphnia and water fleas and he will catch one in a few seconds. There, he got it. Yeah. Um, so this diving bell is getting bigger and bigger and uh, especially the females they also make more bells and they do almost everything there. They eat, they rest, they mate, having eggs there and even hibernate there. Yeah. Another source of food is mosquito larvae and other small water animals and we will be able to see that in a minute. They really love these red worms. Take care, it will come in a few seconds and grab its prey. Check, it has it and now she will bring it back to the diving bell. What is interesting is that with these creatures the females are uh, smaller than the males. Females get up to 12 millimeters, males to 15. It is very unusual in uh, spiders. It's a unique spider anyway. Uh, the only one living submerged almost every single second of its life. So mating takes place in the female's bell. Here it catch another one. And then she lays the eggs also there, between 30 and 70 eggs. A bite can be quite painful to humans as well, it is said. And um, it's not life-threatening, but uh, you only vomit, for example, for a few days, that's all. <laughs> it lives from um, the United Kingdom up, up to Japan in very clean lakes and slow following flowing water with a lot of plants so have fun observing these very very interesting spiders enjoy water life enjoy nature and take a little bit care with these interesting creature ciao ciao